What's up? Welcome back to this Studley vlog. Today we are going to be unboxing a new camera. Oh yeah. So I picked up this Konica Hexar rangefinder. This is a camera that has been around for a while and I've always kind of had my eye on it and it was on eBay and the price was just too good so I had to pick it up. Whenever I get a new camera, I'm that guy who goes and reads the directions or the manual just because there's some cool stuff you can learn, but it was all in Japanese, so it was kind of pointless. But I can find it online in English, so we're good. So here's the body. Now this thing is super similar to the Leica M system. In fact, it has an M mount and rangefinder, but it's like an M7 mixed with a Contax G2. So this camera has a working hot shoe, which is great and an ISO wheel. It is all electronic, by the way, so it's automatic winding. And you set your ISO and go from there. There's also exposure compensation, so if you're gonna underexpose or overexpose, you can. This camera also goes to 4,000th of a second, which the Leica M stops at 1,000. So you get an extra two stops of shutter speed, which is super nice and it does single shot and continuous, and then it also has a built-in self-timer, which is super helpful. You can also buy different diopters depending on what pair of glasses you have. They are pretty hard to find though. And then there's the rewind and a plug-in for a remote shutter. Now this camera is super easy to load. You basically just drop the roll in and slide it across. A lot easier than loading like an M6. So it is an M mount and it works with all of Leica lenses. It goes from 28 to 135. So I threw on my 50 and it looks great. So here it is side by side with a Contax and my Leica M6. And you can see it's pretty much the same size. Here's the Contax, the M6, and then the Hexar. So I texted my buddy Austin and I was like, yo, let's go shoot. So we headed out and met up at In-N-Out. Social distancing. <laughs> Get that on your vlog. So we grabbed some In-N-Out, got hashtag blessed, and headed out on a hike to try to work it off. This trail is over in Westlake and I've been in Westlake before and I didn't know there was a bunch of trails and hiking spots, but this place is pretty sweet. Today I am shooting with some Ultramax 400 and this is a film by Kodak. It's kind of a lower priced film, but it's gotten pretty popular lately. So I bet you're wondering, Brandon, why do you need another camera? You already have like way too many. Well, I actually got it because I thought that it'd be a good idea to have a backup for my Leica M6 in case it breaks. But also this camera does some stuff that my Leica can't do, which is super helpful. Since recording this video, I've had the Hexar for about five months now, and it's been a blast. It works amazing. The This camera is a Japanese camera, and it was kind of a copy of the Leica. Minolta had done a collab with Leica and came out with their Minolta CLE, and Konica was like, yo, what about me? So Konica went and created their own camera, and it is basically a Leica, but a Konica. And they have their own lenses for it, and they even have like a 60, I think, 1.2, which is pretty crazy. But <laughs> 
The camera works with the same exact mount as Leica, so, so you can use any lenses, swap them in and out, and they work the same. Now this is super helpful because I shoot with a bunch of different lenses, so I can use my 15 millimeter Voigtlander lens on it, which doesn't work on certain Leicas, but it works on here, and I can use my 135 Leica lens with goggles, and it actually works perfect with the rangefinder. You guys might be wondering, who's this random dude here with? Well, this is my boy Austin, AKA Milky Selects. He's a super talented street photographer. You should go check out his stuff. This camera is pretty cool because it has aperture priority and it also has an aperture priority lock. So if you're taking photos, you can meter for a certain subject or a person and then lock the meter and then step back and frame up your shot, which honestly is super helpful. Now, my one complaint with this camera is that it is not built as well as a Leica is. It kind of feels a little bit flimsy, but it's still like a solid feeling, but it's just kind of light and doesn't have that heavy metal feel like a Leica does. Honestly, other than that, it's a really nice camera. Finished off that roll of Ultramax and loaded in a roll of HP5 metered at 800. The Hexar is a really great camera and after using it for a few months, I've really enjoyed it and I'm probably going to keep it. The rangefinder is awesome, the metering is great and it does 250th for flash sync which is super nice and yeah, it's just a great little camera. It is a little square and fits in your hand a little funny but honestly, who cares, it takes great photos. So here's a few of the shots I took with it and it definitely will be in a few more videos coming up so keep an eye out <laughs>